you're, you're wearing Air Max today. You're yes. wearing the Air Max 270. I've seen you wearing the shoe a lot on social media. You like the shoe quite a bit. I really like it. I like. I'll have to say, I. Now I know what you're thinking, who are you to tell us what to buy? Hear me out guys, I saw an interview with Emily Oberg, and I watched those sneaker shopping videos on Complex. I'm pretty sure I know my shit. Anyways, I'm gonna break this video down into three things, and they're gonna be design, trends, and collabs. And I promise, I'm putting my hand on a Bible, I'm not some Emily Oberg shill. I just fucking, uh... For design, I know it's a very subjective topic, but I feel like this is definitely more creative and fresh as compared to this. <laughs> Uh, I mean, come on, guys. When was the last time Homeboy walked in with these and, like, got it? Room's quiet as shit if you got these on. They're like the in and out of sneakers. Overrated. And I'm done. But we're not here to talk shit about Adidas. I can make a whole nother video on that. They have their highlights as well, though. But to continue, I feel like the designers this year are killing it. Besides really milking the fuck out of the retros. I mean, come on. Where he jumped? I guess the concept is cool, but... Let me, let me just let me just touch this up real quick. There we go. I'm pretty sure Buzz Lightyear can jump farther than Michael Jordan. Again, I have no credentials in sneaker design, but the new Air Maxes and even reimagined versions of classics are really pushing the standard for 2018. It's refreshing seeing totally new silhouettes and creatively remodeled versions of already great sneakers on people's feet, compared to seeing basically the same shoe on everyone. Oh my god. Like, again, nothing wrong with it. They're comfy and functional and you can do whatever you want in them, but nobody's watching the same porn movie every day unless it's like a classic like forrest gump or like the emoji movie next up we got trends and nike is really hitting it on the dot with the creative direction this year you see the fits getting the most likes on instagram actually never mind that's not that credible of a source you see the fits getting the most upvotes on reddit what do they have in common techwear is gonna be a thick influence for streetwear in 2018 and nike is really riding the wave on this by the way i called it and follow my twitter by the way you're missing out on some quality stuff man okay you're not really missing out but anyways you got things like the 10 collab with virgil acg the new air maxes and so on very techwear inspired designing and on par with what's hot but for sure don't copy things one for one but if you like something don't be afraid to pull inspo from it but nike's really moving the trends forward with actual fresh content rather than <laughs> you can follow the next tinker hatfield on instagram at christian vy look at this i'm a certified airport last but probably best we got collabs most obvious, we got the 10 with Off-White, really boosting Nike's clout, but I'm not gonna talk about that because who cares, it's too fucking expensive. But there are many more alongside it with the Kendrick Cortez, the new CDG Air Maxes. It's a good way to express yourself through fashion, and isn't that the main point of dressing anyways? Cue the fucking music. An example is like if Kendrick's music really touches you, those Cortezes are a great way of expressing that. If Emily Oberg works out in those new Air Maxes, and you just like Emily Oberg, then I don't see why fucking not. If your girl asks asks you if you love her and you tell her only partly and that you only love your bed and your mother and that you apologize then get those OVOs fam what I'm saying is the collabs and influencers under Nike give you another way to express your interest even if it's just through shoes and that broke boys and girls is one of the best reasons to cop all right so to wrap this up Nike respects women that's all it should be. Okay, so thanks for watching the video, guys. And I know I have a video up as to why Nike sucks, but come on, it's 2018. I'm a changed man. Follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and tweet at me at ChristianVYYT for some quality behind the scenes. Email me at frugalaesthetic at gmail.com for anything. And yeah, guys, stay lit, respect women, but most importantly,